Right, I thought we'd do some over-volting testing on these radios, uh, starting with this brand new one I picked up just before Christmas, which is uh, basically a, a red version of the UV5X, but a higher power version called the UVS9. Uh, now, this particular radio had this slightly thicker battery on it, um, and it, it claims to have an 8-watt power output, which, of course, is always going to be dubious, although I think this should safely do 5 watts. Um, I thought I'd you know, really take this radio up and test it to destruction if possible. Um, we'll see if that's possible to do that later. It claims to have a 7.4 volt battery. And there you go, an 8 watt high and 1 watt low power output. And um, I thought well, I've had this around a little while. So this will be the first one on the test, a sacrificial lamb. And then we'll perhaps whiz through a few others just to see if we can get any more, squeeze any more power out of these cheap Chinese radios. It might be a help to some of you if we can get a little bit more out of them. So let's just see how we fare, and uh, and it'd be interesting, I think, to uh, see how we get on. Right, so we're running on the batteries now, and this is a VHF test on the batteries. Okay, so that's on running on the battery VHF test about five watts. Okay, now we're going on the batteries, we're going to change over to UHF, this is UHF testing on the batteries. Okay, so it's to be expected, it's, it's about half that, it's about two and a half watts. Right, let's, um, let's try an external power supply then and see if that makes any difference. Right, we've set the voltage to six volts, just over six volts on the radio and um, it is moaning. Low voltage. And when we try and key up with it on low voltage, it just beeps and we don't get any output. And I'll just try that on VHF. Low voltage. Same thing, you don't get any output, it's just screaming low voltage. So the voltage is about probably 6 volts. And this does have an 8.4 volt battery, so that's probably to be expected. Low voltage. But uh, in this test, I think we should definitely take it up to 12 volts to see if that increases the power output. Right, we've increased the voltage to 7 volts now, just gone up from 6 to 7, and uh, we've lost the low voltage warning, um, we've also lost the connection on the back. I'll just pop the connection on the back, and then we'll see if we can get an output from the meter. Right, so now we, we are actually getting an output, we're on 7 volts, which would be considered fairly low on an 8.4 volt battery, but we're still getting the, the output from the... Uh, the radio at 5 watts, I'll just check. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, increase the voltage while I key up and uh, see if it increases the power output. And I'll, uh, I'll tell you the voltages as we go. Um, we'll see if it actually puts the power up any at all. Right, and this is on VHF. This is G7LNK testing. Right, so we're on 7 volts at the moment, okay, right, we're going to key up, and we're increasing the voltage up to 9 volts, and we're still only just on 5, so it's not really made any difference. We'll just de-key and see if that does anything. Right, so it's increased the power a little bit, I think. Now, um, Show you risk it and take it up even further. So let's take the voltage up to 10 volts. This is 10 volts, okay? See if that's made a difference. Ah, yes, it definitely doesn't like that. Definitely doesn't like that. Let's try again. Uh -huh. We seem to see the. This is perhaps how they put in a restriction on the power. So we've gone up to 10 volts and it's not keying up now so let's re re uh, take that voltage back down to uh, 8 volts and it keys up and we'll take we'll key up and then we'll we'll keep turning the voltage up to 10 volts as we go okay get up to 10 and it's still it's not really increasing the power little bit maybe up to 12 volts now we've gone and de key but then when we try and go again I bet it won't let us 
Yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's actually the, the Chinese radios are software limiting you on the power output. This um, radio claims to be an 8 watt radio and only do 5 watts. And I, I, I've no doubt if that, if that voltage detection circuit in the software wasn't there, you probably would better squeeze a little bit more power out of these. But it's just interesting to see how they limit them. This is how they, they limit the radios. They, uh, they monitor the input voltage and um, if they detect that it goes over the threshold, that's it. You don't get any more power. Right, we'll turn, there's no point in destroying the radio, so we'll turn the, uh, turn the voltage back down to 8 volts, to 9 volts, and just see if we get a, there we go, we've got the, got the 5 watts back now. We'll just see if it's any different on UHF. No, it's no different, so yeah. Yeah, so that was quite interesting, that. This is um, a, a red version of the UV5X, it's actually, I've only just got this radio, it came in just before Christmas, so... It's um, it's uh, it's nothing special, but it's a very it's obviously a very standardised uh, board. That's why I wanted to test it, this theory on this one, so to prove that over volting it. Because on one of the other videos for the UV5X, and then the the UV5X high power version, uh, they have this external port on the battery, and um, I had thought maybe you could get more power by popping popping 12 volts on the back of that, and um, so that just proves that you can't. Uh, that doesn't make actually really any any negligible difference and if you go over if you go over 10 volts and the radio won't transmit anyway so it has over voltage transmit protection and under voltage transmit protection so it won't transmit if it's low and it won't transmit if it's too high now you might find other radios other cheaper uh, or the other different brands they might they might not have that protection built in but I'd be amazed because so many of them are based on this particular chip that's inside this radio that I'd be amazed if they didn't all share that same sort of protection but uh, I just thought it was worth a try because uh, someone had asked me on the last video let's just get the, the the 5X and the other radio in for comparison so you can see so there's there's the three of them together the the 5X with the um, without the the DC adapter on the back of the battery there so that's the original 5X still one of my favorite radios that one and then this one is basically exactly the same as the red one. It has this extra jack on the back of it there. And like I say, because people had asked on the video for this one, I forget what the model number of this one is now, uh, but it, it, it's essentially a rebranded, well not rebranded, uh, just a, a rehash of the original UV5X. Um, I quite like it in red though. I've got a thing for red <laughs> red radios. I really like them. Uh, I don't know why. Um, it... Uh, but yeah, so I've got three red radios now, and uh, this one I, I actually was going to test this to destruction. Um, I know it sounds really bad, but if I, if if the power was going to increase when I whip the voltage up, I was gonna I was gonna see if the you know make make this uh, transmit until smoke came out of it. But but uh, I suppose fair play, they protect them. I mean, you might get definitely a bit more joy out of something that's a bit less generic, like the TSSD. Interesting, we've got the Radio Oddity R2 here, and that does appear to be going up when I'm turning the voltage up. I'll, uh, I've got it, <coughs> excuse me, on 5 volts at the minute, and when I was increasing the voltage, it was the power was definitely going up. Right, that's 4.2, going up to 5 volts. That's 6 volts. At seven, I think we plateaued. Yeah, so it's just like seven is the limit on that. So we did squeeze a little bit more out of out of that, but it's it's got the same limiting features. Next up, the case on X30. This is a 4.2 volt radio. Let's try this one. Right, exactly the same with this one with the case on. The, uh, the power went up a little bit, but then at about 7 volts it plateaued, so uh, you could definitely couldn't take that one up to 12 either. Let's try another one. We'll try the TSSD, but I think this has got the same Bafang circuit board in, so I don't suppose this would be any different. Let's try. Try the little Zasto Mini 9. It's a 4.2 volt radio. Try the Shiken SQ800. This is a 
I think this was the one with the battery that said it was 8.4 and it was actually 4.2. We'll check that. No, no joy with that one either. I think the conclusion definitely is that you can squeeze out a little bit more power, maybe half a watt if you're lucky, um, but really you can't get any more power out of these Chinese radios by over volting because the, they are software, the software limits them based on the incoming voltage. So it has under voltage and over voltage protection. So I thought that was worth a try because I'd often wondered whether you could and uh, it definitely seems you can't. If you've got radios that you, uh, you can, uh, you've managed to overvolt yourselves, I'd be interested to know. Just, um, I mean, it's just an experiment really, because in real terms, you know, in terms of gain, you don't get a huge amount uh, more out in terms of range uh, by having, uh, you know, and of course you'd have to put an external battery onto it. And some of the radios flatly refuse, like the Zastone uh, flatly refused to operate with just the supply in the back because it has a temperature sensor on the battery so uh, it, it isn't even possible unless you rig something up externally with some of these anyway so um, I, I hope you found that useful anyway because uh, I've got a whole a whole load of these radios on the shelf and I'd always wondered uh, whether you could do it with them and it does seem that you can't <laughs>